Hey what's up guys, it's Andre Other here bringing you guys another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I made an unknown T type beat. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so this beat was actually inspired by an unknown T song called Dede. So it's like a drill song but it has more of an ambient kind of watery melody and it just has like a different kind of chill kind of vibe to it. So that's what I was going for with this beat. So yeah, I just found the sample on Splice. Um, it, it sounded perfect. It sounded exactly how I wanted it to sound uh, to make this beat. So I literally just took a part of that sample. Um, and I think I changed the pitch of it just to make it sound a little bit different. Um, I like the pitch of it. So then I added some half time to it. And you know, if you're doing a drill beat, it's almost like crucial to have half time on your melody. So I did. Um, so I added half time to it. I turned up the smoothness just to make it sound a little bit different and I ended up liking how it sounded. But yeah, just to give it that watery kind of ambient vibe, I also added some reverb. So I added some silver reverb to it, um, which is a, a Logic Sock plugin. Then I added some excited to it because it, it, it sounded a little bit too bass heavy, a little bit mid heavy. So I wanted to bring out the highs a little bit more. So I added some excited to it as well. But yeah, I was finally happy with how the melody sounded. And yeah, it ended up sounding like this. So you guys, after I was done with the melody, I then moved on to the drums and I always start my drums off with some snares. But this time I decided to start off with some kicks. For some reason, I just wanted to switch it up. But yeah, I just got these kicks that I normally use in my drill beats because they hit hard and they go perfectly with most of the basses that I use uh, whenever I do a drill beat. But yeah, I just dragged this kick straight into the, the new um, drum uh, designer that Logic has. And I just came up with a very simple but effective drill kind of kick pattern. So yeah, obviously you have to have that drill bounce if you're gonna do a drill beat. And yeah, the kicks had that bounce to it and it ended up sounding like this. And then when you had that played with everything else, the beat should sound like this. So yeah guys, after I was finished with the kicks, I then moved on to some snares. So I found these snares from this like really old kind of trap sound kit that I had. So it's this old drum kit that I got. I think I just got it from YouTube, but it has some really sick sounds in there. And it has this snare that I really like that sounds perfect uh, with a lot of draw beats. So I dragged that snare into Logic and I came up with this very simple um, drill kind of snare pattern obviously it has to have that drill bounce to it and it went really perfectly with the kicks as well so I just dragged the snares in there and I came up with this simple pattern and then when you have everything played together the whole beat should sound like this So you guys, after that, after I was finished with the snare pattern, I then moved on to the hi-hats. So I found these hi-hats. I think I got it from the same pack that I got uh, the snares from. But yeah, I just found these really trappy sounding hi-hats. I dragged them into Logic. And then I made this kind of drill um, hi-hat pattern. This is, is a kind of standard hi-hat pattern that you hear in a lot of drill beats. It kind of has that kind of t -t 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 kind of um, rhythm to it. But yeah, it just goes perfectly with literally any drill beat. And I decided to add some variation uh, some some hi hat rolls and stuff like that, just so it, just so it didn't sound too basic. But yeah, I ended up liking how it sounded. It went perfectly with the rest of the drums, and yeah, the pattern ended up sounding like this. But then when you had that paired with the rest of the beat, the whole beat should come together like this. So you guys, after I was finished with the drums, you know we had to move on to the bass. So I found this bass in the Sampler um, plugin in Logic. It used to be called EXS, but they changed it to Sampler. Um, but yeah, I found this um, bass that I really liked. It wasn't really like a drill bass. I just used it in a lot of trap beats, but it went really perfectly uh, with drill kind of beats. So I just added some distortion to it. I added, I think it was Distortion 2 
which is the distortion I always use on my bass in Logic just to give it that crunchier, grimy kind of sound that you get from drill beats. And yeah, I really liked how it sounded and I wanted to come up with a very simple bass line that complemented the main melody and also went well with the kicks as well. And that's kind of what you want to do whenever you're doing the bass in a drill beat. You want to make sure it goes well with the melody and it plays hand in hand with the kicks. That's what I did. I found the perfect bass line. I didn't add some glides and stuff like that because obviously you've got to add them glides if you're doing a drill beat. But yeah, I just added some glides to it as well and I was happy with how uh, the bass line ended up sounding and it ended up sounding like this. And then when you hear all of the tracks played together, the whole beat should sound like this. So then after this, the beat was pretty much done. The main body of the beat was done. Um, I had the different melodies. I knew how to, I knew how I was gonna um, structure the beat and stuff like that. But I just wanted to add little bits, little fillers and stuff like that, just to add the finishing touches to the beat. And the first one I added was this riser that I got from this trap um, drum kit and it just sounded perfectly. So I added that in there and it ended up sounding like this. Then after that, I wanted like a little hit um, I wanted some sound to go with the riser. So when the riser obviously finishes, I want something to hit. Um, but I want something that hit, but sounded trappy. But I didn't want to use the same chant that they use normally in drill beats. I wanted to find something different. I wanted to find like a trap sounding bell that they used to have in those kind of, in them old school kind of trap beats. So I found this bell and this drum kit and it went perfectly with the beat. So I just turned it down add some reverb to it as well and made it so it hit as soon as the riser finished and yeah the bell ended up sounding like this and then when you had that played with everything else the beat should sound like this and then when you have everything played together the whole beat should sound like this Yeah guys, that was it for the main body of the beat. But obviously I didn't want to just use kind of like the same melody and play it throughout the whole beat. I didn't want the beat to sound like just one big loop. So I got the melody, I, I messed around with it in half time a little bit. I turned down the smoothness and I turned up the sustain and it just gave the melody a different effect and it just made it sound a bit different. Just so the beat didn't get too repetitive. See, so I changed up the melody a little bit and it ended up sounding like this. Then when you had that play with the rest of the beat, the whole beat should come together like this. But yeah guys that was pretty much it that was every single component there was to this beat and that was the whole process that went into making this beat the only thing i had to do after that was structure and mix the beat and that's exactly what i did but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys liked the video if you did like the video though please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more because i have way more videos like this coming out every single week if you guys want to purchase any beats from me please hit the link in the description below 10 free beats and offer I'm doing right now. And if you guys want, you can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Instagram for all latest updates. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.